Hello friends, this is Sundar from Canary Capital Solutions. Very happy to connect with you all uh, again through this video. Last video what we saw was on how to prioritize your investments. And in that we mentioned retirement planning and your children's education are the most important goals. In this video, we are going to see how you can plan for your retirement. This word retirement is very, very interesting because people who are working would always love to get retired. We do a lot of these investor awareness programs where we ask this question, when do you would like to retire? And many of, many of the participants will say, I would like to retire at the earliest. In, in fact, some say that I would like to retire tomorrow. This is because people are uh, on a day to day work and with so much of stress, people, people would like to move from the working to a retired stage. But retirement is not all that easy. That is what we are going to see in this video because it costs you a lot of money to achieve. So what is retirement planning? Retirement planning is nothing but it is like climbing a mountain. So climbing a mountain is very difficult. We all know it takes a lot of effort and energy for you to move from the down to the uphill. But the moment you reach the top of the mountain, then the view and the scenery is entirely different and we cherish those uh, scenery. So retirement is like climbing a mountain. So like how you take a lot of time and effort to reach from the bottom to the top of the hill. Similarly, for you to achieve retirement, you need to do a lot of work in terms of saving your money, channelizing your money in the right way so that you can actually reach the peak of your retirement and have a very peaceful and a comfortable retirement life. So we are going to see how that can, that is possible. Before going there, let's understand how a human life cycle works. When it comes to finances, there are three phases. Phase one, phase two and phase three. Phase one is where we are till your employment or we are doing our education where we are dependent on our parents. Everything comes to us free. Phase two is where we actually complete our education and start working and whereby we actually start earning money. And this phase is the most interesting phase because you earn a lot of money and as you earn a lot of money, you also have to achieve a lot of your other responsibilities because this is the phase in which you get married, you will have children and you would like to buy a house, car, etc, etc. And the last phase is where your retirement is. What is common in all these three phases is in all the three phases, we will be spending money and only in phase two, we will be earning money and we only if we are very focused, whatever we are earning, we can also save some part of the money so that we can actually have a very peaceful retirement life. So how does a retirement plan look like? So I'm taking an example, say Sundar age 35 wants to retire by 55. That means in the next 20 years, Sundar wants to retire. And assuming that his life expectancy is still 85. That means from 55 to 85, another 30 years, he is going to live without any income but he has to save enough by the age of 55 so that the next 30 years he can actually live peacefully. So that means in the next 20 years he has to accumulate whatever is needed for the post retirement life. So assuming my expense is 50,000 rupees a month that means because of inflation when I turn the age of 55, my monthly expenses would have already become 2 lakhs per month. Because the inflation keeps climbing, the average inflation assumed here is 7%. So you need 2 lakh rupees a month when you turn the age 55. At 65, you might need 4 lakhs. At 75, you might need 8 lakhs per month. So for you to achieve this corpus the corpus you will require is about six and a half crores by the age of 55 that means in the next 20 years assuming i have not planned anything for my retirement from now on i should be saving about 85000 rupees per month and that money has to grow at about 10 percent per annum so that in the next 20 years i will have a corpus of about six and a half crores with that six and a half crores i will keep getting a pension which will be good enough for me to live my living so the six and a half crores is the number you should be looking. So what we have assumed here is 10% of returns on the corpus what we are investing. 7% will be the inflation and we will be living till the age of 85. So these are some of the assumptions we have made. Assuming these assumptions play out, 
you should have 6 and a half crores by the age of 55. So this number will definitely make your head spin. I am sure because this is not an easy number where we can actually uh, go and reach. Until you are really focused and you really start saving money from as early as possible in your life. Meaning the fear in the mind should make us more responsible so that we can actually live a very peaceful retirement life. So if you are thinking that your children are going to be your retirement plan, think twice because that's not easy. And today the society is also changing. Our parents used to think us as retirement planning. That's where uh, they were not really planning for retirement and retirement planning is very new to them. But for us, people who have been born after 1970 or 1975, I think we will be the first set of people who will attain retirement. If you have not planned for your retirement, then your retirement can be really painful. Also, our family sizes have become smaller. So today your husband and wife becomes a family. And your children generally are abroad studying and they, may, they might even settle there. So for you to live a very good retirement life, especially your second innings of your life to be very good and prosperous, you should have actually saved enough during your first phase or your first innings of your earning. Another important thing is today our aspirations have actually gone up very high. Our parents never planned for going for a world tour or plan for vacations outside the country but today our generation is actually focusing in terms of having a holiday every year if possible a overseas tour every year and things like that so our aspirations also have gone up substantially another important challenge we all have is the longevity of our life our life expectancy where expectancies have actually increased 20 30 years before our average life expectancy in India was about 55 years and today that has moved to about 70 and this is also slowly increasing because of the medical advancement. The longer we live, the more purpose we will require. So we need to plan even better. So let's, let's understand why should you plan your retirement when you are at the age of 35. Of course you can also plan at 45 or 25. I have shown you a chart explaining if you start at 25 what will happen and if you start at 45 what will happen. The cost of delay in these goals can be very high because these are very long term goals. So the impact on inflation can be very very high. So with the same example, I am just explaining you all three instances differently. Somebody at the age of 25 with the same expense of 50,000 a month planning to retire at 55 and a life expectancy of 85. That means he has to save about 58,000 rupees a month. Whereas a 35 year old has to save about 85,000 a month. Whereas a 45 year old has to save about 1,58,000 rupees a month. Everything else remains constant. The year at which you start makes all the difference. Time is money and this is very visible in this uh, chart. So you need to, you cannot even delay one year later because every year you delay, every day you delay the corpus what you need to accumulate or the money what you need to invest actually keeps on increasing. Hope you all understood planning for your retirement at as early as possible in your life. To summarize what we have seen in this video, first is retirement can be very very happy provided you have got enough money. Otherwise retirement can be very very painful and whatever numbers I have shown you is for you to understand the importance of saving as early as possible. The next thing is retirement cannot be planned when you actually retire or just before your retirement. The retirement has to be planned. In fact, that should be your first goal after you meet your minimum requirements. After that, you will have to just start focusing on your retirement because the sooner you start, there is a high probability you can actually achieve your retirement even before what you would like to achieve. So get ready to climb your mountain because the the journey is not going to be easy, but I am sure if you actually complete this journey, you will have a very wonderful and peaceful retirement. Hope you enjoyed this video and it added value to you. The next topic what we are going to see is on asset allocation. Again, a very important topic for all of us to understand from an investing point of view. Thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel Canary Capital Solutions and also don't forget to press the notification button.
థ్యాంక్ యూ